Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, October 22nd. Well, we've been talking about the potential of a major storm along the eastern seaboard sometime during the latter part of the month of October, and indeed, that threat continues here on Monday for the upcoming weekend along the east coast. I'm actually starting off the video discussion with a satellite image of what is now a Category 5 hurricane named Willa in the northeastern Pacific, and this storm will actually feed some energy and moisture into the uh, Gulf of Mexico region and that will be the origin of the East Coast storm. Again, Willa will actually play an, at least an indirect role in the development of this East Coast storm that has a high likelihood of coming uh, during the upcoming weekend. Here is the latest satellite image with a very nice looking eye here and a symmetrical look to the storm right now and again it is a cat five this is Baja California and this is Mexico right in this region right here this will tend to weaken some before it hits Mexico but it very well could maintain major hurricane status over the next couple of days it uh, affects Mexico during Tuesday and Wednesday and you can see right now the uh, stretch out nature of the cloud band here and again moisture is going to move to the north and east it already is there really into the Gulf of Mexico region and uh, some of this energy some of this moisture will actually help in the uh, origination of a Gulf of Mexico storm that looks like it'll ride up the eastern seaboard this upcoming weekend well let's take a look at the positioning of the uh, tropical systems in the northeastern Pacific Ocean by the way the Atlantic Basin continues to be quiet here we go with Willa again this is a category 5 storm it will turn to the north and east and of course weaken some uh, due to the very high uh, terrain here in Mexico but again it can make landfall as a major hurricane still category 3 or above over the next 48 hours or so Tuesday Wednesday across Mexico and then some of that energy some of that moisture will head right towards the Gulf of Mexico region and this will be the origin of the East Coast storm that I expect to hit this upcoming weekend. So again, some Pacific Ocean hurricane moisture and energy will feed into the development over the Gulf of Mexico over the next few days, and all of that rides to the north and east, very likely as a nor'easter by uh, this upcoming weekend. Well, let's take a look at some forecast maps from last night's Zero Z European model run. These maps available at WSI Incorporated. This is actually the 500 millibar uh, uh, heights map for early Sunday morning. I just wanted to emphasize the potent nature of this pattern here. We have an upper level low sitting over the northern plains and a negatively tilted trough. And by that I mean it extends from the northwest to the southeast. The positive tilt to the upper part of the atmosphere is when the upper level trough axis extends from the northeast to the southwest. This is a negatively tilted trough. That promotes some very strong upward motion right in this particular quadrant. That will be sitting right on top of the mid-Atlantic coastline this upcoming weekend. So a very energetic upper level pattern here. Again, setting the stage for a major storm right in this region right here along the eastern seaboard during the upcoming weekend. Well, let's take a look at a few forecast maps from last night's Zero Z European model run. This is for Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning. And first of all, I wanted to point out here is Hurricane Willa. Again, currently a Category 5 will tend to weaken some before it makes landfall in Mexico, but a big impact on Mexico in the Tuesday-Wednesday time frame. And again, some of this moisture will feed in uh, to the north and east, to the Gulf of Mexico. There's already a lot of moisture right down in that region right now, but uh, certainly this will aid in the formation of a strong storm with a lot of moisture over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, up to the north and east still, very cold air mass here for this time of the year, situated over southeastern Canada. A chilly weather pattern, we've talked about this for the last uh, couple of weeks here, will continue right through the end of the month of October for the eastern part of the U.S. So cold air up here and lots of moisture from the uh, Pacific Ocean associated with Hurricane Willa will feed into the uh, Gulf of Mexico region over the next couple of days. 
Well, let's jump ahead now to Thursday morning's forecast map. Here is the uh, remains of Hurricane Willa, and there's, of course, some Gulf of Mexico uh, moisture in that particular area right now as well. But again, Willa will move across Mexico, weaken considerably, but some of the energy, some of the moisture will feed into the Gulf of Mexico region. And here it is, the development of low pressure down in the Gulf of Mexico by Thursday morning. And notice a cold air outbreak right in this region into the uh, northeastern U.S. on Thursday. We'll probably have high temperatures in the uh, I-95 corridor region from D.C. to Philadelphia to New, to New York City, confined to the mid or upper 40s, way below normal for this time of the year. And we're looking to the southwest for this area of moisture to ride up to the north and east. Well, finally, let's jump to Saturday morning. And this is, again, from Zero Z. European model run a strong storm right along the eastern seaboard, the mid-Atlantic coastline, a kind of a classic nor'easter. And late October features some big storms every once in a while. We've talked about this earlier. Hurricane Sandy, of, of course, was late October 2012 time frame. The, the perfect storm, they made a movie about the perfect storm, a Halloween day storm in 1991 and this looks like this could be a major storm as well for the latter stages of October. This again is Saturday morning's forecast map with a, with a classic pattern of a comma shaped precipitation a pattern here to the north and west of the low and it'll be cold enough in some of these higher elevation regions let's say across West Virginia, western Pennsylvania, maybe even into central Pennsylvania for some snow and that threat will extend in the interior higher elevation regions of New York State and New England. Heavy rain is uh, uh, likely in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor with some strong winds as well. But again, the potential continues for a major storm along the eastern seaboard this upcoming weekend. And some of the moisture, some of the energy involved with this weekend's potential storm will actually come from what is now a Category 5 hurricane in the northeastern Pacific named Willa. So stay tuned over the next few days for updates on the weekend scenario here in the eastern U.S. That's it for now. For PerspectiveWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.